So first thing, thank you for an amazing presentation for being today here. Oh, thank you. Uh, maybe you can tell us a bit more about yourself, your company, and then. Sure. So I, I work for a company called Adform, which is a the largest European uh, independent ad tech provider. So we cover the full range of ad tech solutions, from ad serving to demand side platform to supply side platform. Um, and the area that I work most in is the data management platform, which is our uh, our tool for bringing in first party data that you own, data that you may have run in previous campaigns on our platform or other platforms. Uh, and other model data that you may be bringing in from other sources so that you can use that uh, for whatever purpose you need to. Um, and so my background is as a, as a data scientist, probably not the best data scientist out there, but um, now I kind of work as the head of our business intelligence unit in Adform along with our business intelligence consultancy service which provides advanced analytic solutions to a lot of our ad tech clients. So here we are today discussing data-driven innovation and obviously there are a lot of changes happening in data management and data science field. So what are your thoughts, like how ready are the companies for these changes? Um, I guess it depends on industry to industry. I would say in ad tech it has always been a, it's always been a performance driven um, sector. So I, I would say recently it's become very data driven but it's always been Performance, if that makes sense, that uh, data is now the new, is the validation or the oil, as I've seen in other presentations, yeah. of of driving performance or even branding or awareness. And so, I would say I've only been in the industry for about five years, but I've seen a massive change. I've seen the the respect of data scientists. I guess that's that's kind of close to my heart to make sure that data scientists are respected along with the creative elements, the operations elements, um, are used, and not just for. Um, I guess post campaign or post analytic analysis, but is, are used for forecasting models, are used to for predictive or prescriptive analytics, and that's really come into ad tech in the last two or three years. So I'd say we're at the forefront. In other industries, um, I just don't have enough. I would say from these type of conferences, it just depends company to company, and I guess whoever has the competitive advantage um, is usually the companies that thrive. You can look at Google and Facebook in our in our industry, who took the early lead on. Uh, cross-device and data-driven um, ad targeting and now look at where they are. And so it's pretty similar in other industries. Companies that find the ability to manage data effectively are the ones that usually shine through, um, at least in this age. So how can uh, companies actually ensure that they are aiming for that full utilization of data? Um, I think it, so what I've seen are a couple of different methods. So one, I believe that data needs a place at the board. Uh, it's, it's something that I've kind of had to come to the realization over the years because you, you think that data might belong to the CIO or the CTO or the CMO uh, or the CEO, but in fact data belong has a place at the board. It's not just a component of all of those different uh, parts of a company, but should be its own, uh, um, it's, it's have its own seat in that data governance and data management and utilization of data are oftentimes a specialization. I, we saw a presentation about um, data science and how it's evolved into something that's akin to someone with business acumen, mathematical skills, and programming skills. And so having somebody, so having someone with that kind of position at a board level is very important because then that, um, that kind of pervades through your company if you have, uh, have that set up. I've seen very successful companies that have tried to not go towards board level data, um, you know, chief data officer, chief uh, data strategist, and I don't know, I would say that I've seen more success with people who have done that than, than haven't. So I would say it really starts at the top because once you have a strategy in place that says data is this important in our company, then that means it, it kind of pervades down to, to other levels of, of your organization. Yeah, it, it has to start from the top. So what do you think we can expect in the near future in data science? Um, in data science, well, um, what I've been seeing at these Gartner conferences and Forrester conferences, the idea of both citizen data scientists, so companies like Tableau and Click that, that bring data together um, in an easy-to-use visualization that doesn't require you to have a dedicated analytics team em giving you all of your analytics results. You can put them into a Tableau or Click dashboard and have that available for salespeople or for account management people or operations people uh, without 
all that much face-to-face you know, -face interaction with the analyst. Um, I, I, so I believe in the idea of citizen data scientists. I believe in the idea of prescriptive analytics, which is dashboards are nice. So I mean, I've just praised dashboards, but um, they need to have some sort of um, end goal or end result. They're not just there for, for pretty pictures. They should be there for some sort of uh, prescriptive uh, analysis. So showing somebody that they are performing poorly is one thing, but showing them how that could be improved based on their um, their fellow employees or people outside the organization is prescriptive. I also believe in the idea. So that's I would say on a on a management level, what I really am, am interested in is the idea of companies like um, IBM, Watson, um, or our partners at HP who are uh, developing solutions that bring that allow a citizen data scientist to even control the idea of ETL processing. So you pool data into a data lake like Hadoop or some other large data source and then put this layer on top like IBM Watson that would say that you could ask a question to it and you could get the results instantaneously without having to go through the processing that uh, is oftentimes the bottleneck in, in data uh, strategy. So I'm really excited about citizen data science and also this idea of advanced analytics coming into uh, data science uh, in and all across different industries. Yeah, well, it's exciting future, that's for sure, and uh, it's good. I mean, hopefully, with this type of sharing knowledge and information, we can move forward in that area. Yes. So I would like to thank you one more time for today. Oh, thank for, you very for much. For the presentation and the time to do the interview.